I think my worst was, unfortunately, I'm being bullied, Craig. I just thought, you know. What was that one? Oh, the producer. The, yeah. I thought as, you know, but then again, maybe she's not an actress. And I mean, she's plus size. We'll give her the credit. It, just because I mean, you can be plus size and look good, but I think anything. for Timisa, he's not plus size and he didn't do nothing. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Sleast with Pulse Nigeria. Once again. It's your favorite duo that you hate, you love, we love you too, right back. Anyways, I'm Isa Mama Paul, and with me here is Kimberly OB. Ching. Yeah. Well, what, how was your last episode for you? It was pretty interesting. The Fancy Beauty one. Fancy Beauty launch in mm. Africa. Yeah, we had pretty some very looks, interesting looks. I, guess, yeah. I like any of us. Can you remember any look that was your favorite? I'll say none of my memorable, but um, yeah. Um, today we have a new conversation. Yes, it was just the premiere of Glamour Girls, Netflix premiere. I think it was a remake. Yeah, more. Remember? So yes. when we're like talking about it, I just had that in mind. Like, that was no theme because I mean, the name yeah, should Yeah, obviously, be the, theme. the theme should have been Glamour because I'm Clearly. guessing that was it. Clearly. So it, it's a remake of the 1994 classic. Yes, yeah, so I haven't, have you been able to see it yet? No? No, I haven't seen it, but I'm definitely going to go check it out because mm. I heard it's really interesting. Well, the, best. the reviews aren't so great, though. I heard there was a lot of overacting. I don't know what that means. Yeah, but I'm but... actually interested to see it. Oh, so good. You should let me know. Yeah. Well, Netflix did a remake of the 1994 classic Glamour Girls written by Kemi Adesoye and directed by... Bumi Ajakaye. Women, women, women. Yes, it. and it was also produced by Ambimbo like Craig, who is also a woman for Play Network Studios production. So I'm, I'm very excited to see it, you know, woman power. <laughs> All right, why we're here for fashion. Yeah, so let's talk about the fashion. What did Glamour Girls wear? So, so first, we're going to start with, you know, the It Girl, as some people say, Sharon Audra. She's having this. I think her dress is very beautiful, long mauve dress with stones and everything, and giving her the mauve. mermaid look. Isaac doesn't like. What, well, let me hear what you have to say before I go into it. Um, Ashwabi. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I guess you. Civic is, Center is wedding though. Oh my Just god! Saying. Is it because most Ashwabis normally have this mermaid look? Is that why you're saying that? I guess you said so. <laughs> <laughs> what well, she said. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think that dress was... I mean, she looks stunning as mm -hmm. always, but... Yeah. Maybe in 2016, I would have said, yeah, but not today. Yeah, I can actually see that, but I still think she looked very beautiful. The picture on girl. Instagram she posted, she is stunning. She looked amazing. Go, Sharon, get a stylist. Um, Does next she have up, a stylist? I don't know, maybe. Okay, next up, we have Toke Makinwa. See, this dress, like, it was. Pretty it's giving me drag. It was a lot. It's giving me drag. Drag, really. I don't know what drag she is, but I just feel like this was to be like. I just thought shade. it was too. Maybe the point was over the top. You know, like when you know, like those always... costume people in Vegas are performing like half man, half woman wedding dress. <laughs> it's giving me that vibe, actually. <laughs> All she needed to do is like have a face behind with a mustache. Oh my man, god. Man, hi, okay. No, like I thought that the dress, I just felt like it was a bit over the top. Um, I guess she was one of the lead actress. Yeah, I heard she's a brilliant actress. That's Tokyo Makiwa. No, uh, I've never yeah. seen her. I've never I've seen her. I've actually never seen, never her, seen her, but I think she did like this play thing in Abuja some time ago, and a friend of mine attended. I was like, oh, she's brilliant. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, interesting. Well, we're not really talking about her acting. Her look is what we're talking about. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, I thought it was okay. It was just very over the top. I felt like her makeup beautiful you know she always looks stunning but i feel like her stuff is always a little bit over she loves to over over the top i mean i think it's the last time i'll say this on this show is the fact that i don't know if she has a style particularly but she just like wears really nice things yeah time, true yeah but you can i can't really... exactly say what her style is per se but yeah. Like, yeah i agree okay next up we have lily Affe. um what do you think like Lady. I didn't really like that look. I didn't like it at all. I thought the the I don't know. Like the picture I saw was very nice, but I just thought the stones, I don't know if it's stones or like the the high neck. It's given Nikki in 2014. Was Nikki singing then? I don't know, but Nikki was no singing in 2014. I think this was sure it's a red carpet. I just thought this was it was it's I guess it's a night. red carpet look, but I wasn't it, I didn't you know, it, it was given the glamour you expected to see. Yeah, it's kind of given the glamour, but it just didn't, there's something off 
Yeah, yeah that's why it's off because you expect yeah. to see it. Yeah, there's something off. I don't know what it is, but she is a beautiful girl. So yeah, I think, stunning. regardless or not, the outfits, whatever stunning. she puts on her body would stunning. look nice. Stunning. Stunning. But I just thought, you know, this it was just. I wasn't. I wasn't there for I was it. not giving. Next up, we have Inse. I think she was it my favorite Etim. look, honestly, from this whole she premiere. She has a cute name, and I. You can't even pronounce it right. I say. You say it can. It's him. Okay, I tried. I love yeah. your look, by the way. You look stunning. You look pristine. Yeah, she you does. Looks chic. Very chic. Very like, simple. So chic. And I love Obviously, her she, I guess she inspired our white look for no, today. No, no, I'm always in white. So no one inspires me. But um, <laughs> okay. as I was saying, Whoa. she looks amazing. I love her hair. I love the cut. Yes, I love the cuts. I love the white look, and I love the fact that she doesn't she always go for dress. You know, I feel like most actresses, they always try to go for the, like you said, Ashra B, long style, mm -hmm. glamorous dress. I didn't say they always do. You well, said, most of the time, said, they always have mm -hmm. that mermaid look. Mm -hmm. But and I think she, she said, always goes like simple, chic, and she always just hits it on the mark. Like, Fair enough. Next up, we have Charles of Play. Yeah. This production company. Play, he's the, I guess he's the owner of Play Network Studios. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, the suits. I, first of all, did you notice that the two, the top, the suits and the pants are not matching? I know it doesn't really matter, but like, you know, I feel like the, the top, the suit was black and the the pants are it was like... just an off pair. Off people. pair. The off the just match was just... navy blue and black. Pair. Exactly. Like, no. And then I just felt the hat wasn't necessary. You're a good looking guy. Like, that hat just threw me off. Like, was it really necessary? I mean, the great cast plays a thing, so yeah. This is definitely not a Grace Gatsby look. But it's still a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Orange Culture, Bio. Um, what did you think about his look? Glimo. Yeah, very glamour vibes. You know, I think his look is everything. I love the fur on the sleeve. And, you know, I don't know why he always wears a clutch, but I guess I kind of like this um, gold clutch he was wearing in comparison to the other is one he had dollar, with the other look. dollar bill clutch? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a dollar well, bill clutch. You know, I guess that's the glamour for him. Mm -hmm. the I feel like the fur is enough richness. glamour, but also I don't know if like having a clutch, even for a lady, I'd be like, why do you have a clutch on a red carpet? Because I mean, but where would you put? I guess you have a sister. Yeah, <laughs> so I was about but, to, where would you put um, your your bone and your stuff? I guess you have someone to like. Yeah, hold I mean, like, break. it's just like I don't know. The clutch is not working for me per se. I mean, you have the blonde hair and the fur, and I think that's enough glamour with the nice boots. Nice oh my god, clutch. I just realized. Why is it weird when people have blonde hair and their beard is black? Like, what do you think about that? Because I always wondered. Mm, I mean, I had black. Hair at some point with like. You had black hair or no, black, beard. black beard with like a different colored hair? Yeah, so I think it depends on your skin tone mm, as well. Yeah. Being that black and beautiful. Right, okay. Given. Next up, we have James Gardner. I really liked his look. He looked very handsome. What did you think about his look? Mm, interesting. Interesting, that's all you have to say. <laughs> I thought it looked really good. At least he's not doing a mix matching. Who is he? What does he do? With actually? his suits. Oh, he was an actor in the movie. Don't quote me on that. I haven't seen the movie, so I can't really tell yeah, you if he was an him. actor in the movie. So he he might he have been an actor so good, on though. the movie, or he was one of the people that they just invited for the premiere of the event. Oh, true that. So yeah, but, he but regardless, looks he looks amazing. Um, the match, the suits, the top, amazing. The match between the top, the jacket and the pants, good. And then obviously the bow tie also looked really good. And he didn't have a hat on and the shades look really good. So Charles, maybe you should learn a bit Get from him. Get scoop from him. Yes. Next up, we have Ronke Tiami. What does Ronke do? Her body is given. Her body is given. See, so I was looking at her outfits and I was looking at Tokyo's um, mm -hmm. Tokyo um, outfit. And you know, they both had this um shoulder mm -hmm. pad thing. And like Ronke is just given more for me than Toke is. Toke's you good. know. But maybe she, maybe she wasn't a lead actress on it, but I think the stones, the fact that you can you know see her body a little bit, I think she looks amazing. I love every single thing. And her jewelry, her hair, she looks very, very feminine. Very feminine, very girly, very pretty. Giving me glamour girls, you know. 
as the movie name. Mm. What? She's giving Barbie, so yeah. Yeah. She's giving Barbie off the rack. <laughs> off the rack. Yeah, okay. like, you know when they come with the custom made clothes? She looks it like perfect body image style. Yeah, cute. Next up. We're well, we... also giving a Shopee, by the way, just saying. Uh, <laughs> really? Of course. <laughs> But this is more like I the, think Sharon is definitely more Ashley than she is. What are the other senses? This is more like Oriental. <laughs> Just joking. But oh it's still giving God. like it's still giving pretty much Ashley as well, actually. Good. Next up, we have Nasa Bulon. So, what do you think about her look? Risque. risque. <laughs> yeah. It's giving risque. I should be risque. She looks cute. As Isaac would say. Well, I flew to London for the wedding, Ashley. Yeah, I think she looks pretty well very basic i feel everyone has already everyone is doing this body suits with their leg showing um thing is that like a new thing because i see i've been seeing that a lot it's actually giving beach wear yeah it's out the top like i think the girls, girls wear most of this her makeup beach. is definitely good hair yeah, is good pretty, pretty face um but the outfit is like it's over it's overdone i think i've i've seen this so much i'm already over it um, so next up we have Ambimbola um, Craig. She was the producer or producer for this. Oh really? Yes. What do you think? Amazing. I, I mean, you know, she's a really good. I don't want to. I don't know what to say, but I feel like it just gives me church vibes, like church girl. You say church. Church, you right? <laughs> like. But um. You know, I I no. I feel like as a producer for this movie, I was expecting more. you know more but you to less come and be like, yeah, less is more. Like Ense is less. Like she's not doing a lot, but she still looks very chic. She still looks like she's a lead actress in the movie. Nice. You get what I'm saying? But you know, I was just like, this it just looks like we're going to church. Like it's not really giving Fritch. for me, you know. But it's giving more like. I'll reserve my comments next time. No, don't reserve your comments, please. I'm <laughs> sure they would love to know. Do you guys want to know this? Yes. Next time, then stay tuned. Next up, we have Tammy San. Yeah, he's giving us this his silk poppy shirt with his black pants. Um, I don't <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> like, um, it's, it's giving tea for Tay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I guess. You know, he wasn't really trying to do too much and he wasn't I, trying to serve glamour yeah he was serving, he was serving the glare but the more was missing was even, completely yeah. because i was like what Ugh, like what is this look i was expecting more from him because why the last, i don't know like sometimes he just represents <laughs> why did i say why <laughs> I well yeah but why though <laughs> i, I um, guess he's not really a fashion person yeah so, so I that's what i was wondering well, why you expected the, more the, for the fancy um event he went and he was represented oh, he looked really good one again. we don't need to talk about that <gasps> however it wasn't my memory but i guess um, um this one just is very basic like it's a premiere movie premiere and you're one of the actors on the movie, oh, in the the movie. movie. he was one of the actors oh, in the wow. movie so i was Congrats expecting to I was expecting I was just expecting more. I just it was it was a shame for me to be very honest. Probably he had drinks before the event. He had a pre-drinks or something. Yes. I don't know, just saying. But next up we have Links. Links! Oh my god, Links is so hot. But regardless of your hotness or not, let's go into this look. I'm just checking this. What giving. do you think? The jacket is given. The Abba. jacket is given, right? Ah. Uh, it's sad because I didn't like I tried to find out the designer of his outfit, but I couldn't find, figure out um, he didn't put it anywhere in his Instagram or I didn't even also see it on other Instagram pages. But this jacket is given. It okay. looks like I don't know what, what material would you call this? No, it I just can't. looks like I can it feels like it's a bit shiny, but like sweet. Like I don't know. It just it looks good. Um but my only thing though is that I don't know if he's wearing jeans or if he's wearing pants because that kind of like threw me off a little mm -hmm, bit. Mm -hmm. Um, that just like you know, I, I wasn't there for it. Star type D. <laughs> upcoming star type D. Do not kill me. Isn't I mean, he like a? What happened to Link? So he's kind of like just completely falling off. There you have it, the glamour boys and girls of Lagos, Nigeria, with life in Abuja for this premiere and. 
Yeah, you yeah, had it. I was expecting a bit more, and maybe celebrities. Maybe because it was in Abuja, a lot yeah, of celebrities Yeah, I guess most could show. not fly off for it or yeah, something. Yeah, and the looks were just very basic. As you can tell, there wasn't really much to talk about because our celebrities were in there. But you know, stay tuned for the next episode. It'll be a lot more fun. However, before we go so. into our t- our best and our list. We will talk about our top celebrity Instagram fashion moments. Yay! This is honestly my favorite part of it because I guess we I can, can actually, tell. yeah, because we <laughs> get to actually smiles. talk about stuff that we find interesting and not just critique. Boring yeah, fair enough. Outfits, yeah, you know, that's exhausting. Yeah. So, have did you see any looks that you know were like good? I'm not sure about looks per se in terms of like serving looks, but I think I find. A bon is. Yeah. I find his Instagram very interesting. You find his Instagram interesting. Yeah, first of all, I bumped into it. I felt like it just had like I could see artistry, I could see like art, I could see a talented person. Mm. Yeah. 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 I haven't really checked out his Instagram, so I would I really wouldn't know. But I I know he's an amazing artist, so that I could Mm -hmm. guess. His songs are telling. His team is probably like he probably has the right team. Yeah. So one of my favorites was Rugger. Um he was at the Dior fashion show. I think that was in, was it in Cannes or in Paris? In Paris. Yeah, yesterday. he had this amazing look with whiskey. I thought that was very, very, very nice. And all you know, he's really rocking this his pink hair. Is that the same guy that gets angry on all the stage? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, just saying. So cool. next up, we have... Pisayo Alonge. It's not Alonge, it's Pisayo Alonge. There's no after. Isn't it A? No. It's A-L-O. No, it's Pisayo Alonge. No, yeah, baby, it's Alonga. She's Edo. Sorry, yo. Okay. Anyways, the her dress. She has this like beautiful dress where it looks like you're naked, but like you're not. She looks amazing. Is that her She's brand? a designer. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it's her brand, but I thought when I saw this picture, I was like, yes, this is a moment. She looks good, and the I dress is given. It's absolutely given risque, you know. In comparison to that, Kylie's bikini i don't know it was very very like um went viral she had this bikini that had like nipples on it and like everybody was going like oh my god it looks so real but yeah fisaya's outfit yeah you have no idea what i'm talking about do you no i don't (laughs) (laughs) i'm absolutely lost but yeah i think fisaya is like one interesting character online yeah interesting to watch and inspiring and just seeing her grow her business as well it's also very inspiring yeah and i mean not beyond to like mention her as one of her favorite designers really yeah she did Uh, yeah that's literally what took her like from you know nay to yay are you serious well done (laughs) fisaya congrats so proud of you yeah so next up we have chioma good hair man this picture I know you don't have anything good to say because if your face is already looking funny. I have nothing bad to say either. Okay. I might have no comment too. But really? I'm just <laughs> No, no, I'm just joking. But I was gonna say, cause this this picture's outfit is given. Which of them? The gold she has this gold um gold dress mm, with yeah. the you know the background is just plain on the beach. Shoma's outfit is like I absolutely loved it. I think it was definitely a birthday moment. I love the fact that the background isn't doing too much but the gold and her skin the photographer definitely knew what he was doing because these pictures were given. It was serving. It was serving and her second look for her birthday she had uh, the silver top with the black um, you know, see through lace. Another see through. See through, uh, yes. That's what I'm saying. It's like a whole thing. But is hers is saying fashion, though. Yeah, hers is mm. definitely mm. giving fashion. It's giving, um, it's giving Dior. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, def- why does I say yeah? No, not Dior, definitely actually. Not no, Dior. it's giving. No, no, it's not Dior, obviously. Yeah. No, it's actually giving Chapeau Gautier. Yes, definitely that. Yeah, definitely it's giving Chapeau Gautier. I think she looks beautiful. The actually, hair. both looks actually giving Chapeau Gautier. Yeah, actually. I think she's definitely the, the top for me um, this week. I think she pays attention to her aesthetics, which is very yes. cute to see. Yes. I like that. She matches everything very well. Yeah. She's one person that, you know, she does a lot, but it doesn't always look. Sometimes it does. Well, the few times I've seen, but yeah, I think most times it does, though. I still see a little get in that. But okay. um, next up, we have Adut. Adut, oh, she looks so good. Our ex Nigerian like... sister. I wish, I, I <laughs> wish herself had run to and got married, actually. What? One time I was engaged to her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a cute one. Yeah, that was a shame. Too bad. 
They didn't bring her home. Yeah, she looks beautiful. She's an amazing model. So I, I mean, feel like everything she wears always looks amazing. I and know, this gold honestly. on the skin. Oh, amazing. Obviously, it's from Vogue. So you know that she, it has to always look good. But yeah, Shuts to definitely perfection. a top celebrity moment for me. Yeah. Next up, we have Ade Kuleko. As in the fact that Ew. his outfit like like is actually giving like th because I remember the, him the Nigerian from when artist. He used I think I actually fuck with his style, like lately himself. Um, Alamido butter. Alamide butter. It's Alamido. Alamide. Oh my God. I say you need to go and learn how to say people's names. Um, nobody knows my name if I can be approved to say that. Yeah. But, anyways, but um, he looks good. I feel like yeah, his style recently has always just been. Maybe he has. Maybe it's the semi. There's one more person energy. I can't remember who is stylish. Okay, never mind. I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah, there's an Indian artist I think I like his. Style. Yeah, he he looks good. I love the. Do you see um, the semi energy? I don't think so. But um yeah. The next up we have Tini Otedola. She's giving us very casual. She's giving mint. Casual mint. It's but almost summertime, but I'll stay minty. Now, she's so engaged. Are you living underneath a rock? Yes, she's engaged clearly. to easy. They got engaged like was it last year oh, or like cute. a few months ago? Oh, wishing you guys all the best. Yeah, she looks amazing. I love cute, this. Cute, cute. I think she's one she's another person that's always dresses simple. You know, as sophisticated. Rich, exactly. You don't need to. Your money doesn't always need to show. But anyway, you, it, you can choose and you can choose to, and decide what you want to do. This is just my own take. But she's always dressed chicly, so like yeah, I think chic. she looks good. You know, clean. So I definitely thought it was a celebrity moment. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. But we're gonna before we end, let's talk about our top and our list today. So let's start with you. Who's your top? My top must be and should be, can only be Fisaya Longa because like you just said, Beyonce mentioned her like that is a moment already. <laughs> you know, it's a really tough one because I really liked Orange Culture Bio's look and I really like Insee's look. But I think I would go with um, I think I would go with Inse. Oh, you took that right out of my mouth. Yeah, because, you know, Inse. obviously I'm wearing white today, so, but you however, know, keeping it clean. Um, I think always. she looks very, very chic and sophisticated. I, I love the that. pants. I love, I'm always for, you know, Elegance. representing the theme, but not over, like not doing the most, keeping it simple, but always classy classy you know? keep it simple and classy so that's definitely yeah. my top yeah, yeah um, i think is that your top too? Yeah, 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 yeah so first time ever we agree on something yeah it's the first time <laughs> and your list isa <laughs> is that is that tea with timmy son you said it well, she <laughs> said <laughs> but you did well, that like that's the only person that i, I was know drinking i had tea this morning oh you, I put, my god well, you saw my sandwich, i had tea this morning oh my god shut up just say morning. with your chest isa say okay, with your chest okay timmy san which you go do <laughs> but yeah i think he was my worst being that yeah yeah i think my worst was unfortunately i'm being like craig i just thought you know what's that one? Oh, the producer the, yeah i thought as you know but then again maybe she's not an actress so she didn't really think to do like dress up like this your movie premiere. i mean she's plus size we'll give her the credit and it, just because i mean you can be plus size and look good but i think anything. for timisa he's not plus size and he didn't do nothing. They both wore black silk. She just wore hers in a dress and he wasn't in a shirt. So yeah. <laughs> I think they should both get the same position if it's all. Are you on that one? Yes. Let's do on it. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you guys. Time. And I hope you enjoyed this segment as much as we did not enjoy making it because our producer has been in our ass. And we love you stay tuned don't forget to like subscribe like subscribe comment let us know what you think and i'm kimberly Ovi. and i'm isa mama paul stay Bye tuned guys. Oh.